Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this Monodeath in Texas? Let me draw a lens. I cast this. Thanks. Flooded strand is just better. Nine lives in the area to dumpster gruel. I don't know if nine lives is gonna dumpster gruel. It does kinda. Eh, I don't think it works particularly well. Why is it gonna play Thalia? No. Power Spirit Dancer. Stoneforge Mystic, excuse me. Shanks sounds so weird. I want to get Mind Sensored. When it leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. It has X proof, so it's not gonna leave the battlefield. Bone Crusher 2. Bone Crusher also prevents the prevent. Seems like a not very good card then. But you can blank it with Yorion. It's actually decent. I'll assemble the combination. Oh, you can't flicker because you're gonna lose. Okay. Well, that's worse than I thought then. See. Eugene smiley face. Is there a can lose the game card in standard? No. Three mana Jace with Kicker, I don't think it prevents you from losing the game. Yorvo. Yorvo is a good one. Operation. I think we want to chat. You broke EDH, damn. I think Johnstar is trying to insult me slightly. Just letting me know that his take of hehe <laughs> super blue, green, white cards is better. And more powerful. Which I'm gonna add and I never disagreed with. Canister wins. Master Kanki could never be a good modern card. It probably would have been pretty good, but it's not legal, so so it's not. Minus force, plus lightning bolt. Doesn't work versus white, doesn't work versus white, doesn't work well versus white. I mean, it kind of punishes Leon Arbiter, but I don't know if you want to do that. Sounds pretty bad. I mean, it is very funny to, de to punish Leon Arbiter for sure, though, so. It's still attractive in that regard. They're playing Ryan Arbiter, they are punished enough. True. John Sand. I like all the deep lore that developed around John Star's uh, persona in this chat. I think it's truly a, an interesting thing to follow. Play the fetch against an Arbiter. I missed out on the attempt to spiral, but I think it's fine. XT, one lender. I think. No, not one lender, okay. They didn't have a two drop? Or did they have a flash one? 
But I don't remember any flash two drops. Weird. My with my sensor seems like not even that. I think triumphs are as good as a tapped multicolored land can get without being broken. Do you think a tapped land that just crosses five, all five mana would be too Gucci? You wouldn't play triumphs if they were not fetchable, obviously. Yeah, if it had no types, I don't think that would be a perfectly insane card. You played Seaside Saddle unironically once. Or well, more than once. But uh, yeah, I guess it like... I mean... I'm not sure if I should have been playing that Saddle, I think it was fine. Wow, that's so broken, they can just kill your Jace. Insane. I think the Triumph was fine, like what I had failed to grasp is that the 4 color mana is actually better, I guess, than non 4 color one. So in that was done, like, if you're that set on playing Pant, then the Triumph was fine, If, but probably better to play 4 colors. He replaced the Saddle with Flooded Grove and Foil was much better. Hmm. I want to put the spiral on the top. A lucky draw. I pull it back there from the chase. If I put the spiral on top, the next turn I'm gonna have seven mana, so I can buy back a land, a spiral, time warp, put time warp on top, and do it again. So I think I do because with the fairy I can't do that because I, I don't get more turns with the fairy because I I need to draw my time warp first. Time warp first. No, I get no. It's fine. I guess, no, it's fine. With the 38 next turn, actually. Coming home. Tiruri, ruri, ti do home. And says GG, but why? I would have passed them on for life afterwards. And it's more powerful in the mid game. Its plus takes extra turns. I agree with your statement. Hey Kaniki, I hope you do better next time and stay in the league. Magic should not be represented by players who only play the game a couple weeks before the end. And if there are no invites on the line, don't even care about it. Thank you for encouragement and I think you do have a point in that I think I'll put back a time warp from this opening hand ah! imagine living a peaceful life until one day your opponent goes blood trip and you think oh giant red black prowess and they are, they are like nope shriekhorn and then you say, Monk S. No dredger though. So what's the deal if you do badly in the league? You have no idea what the structure is anymore. There's gonna be six weekends like that. That was the first one. There's gonna be six like that. Three times the entire MPL is gonna play against the entirety of the MPL. And the points from that gonna decide who goes where at the end of a of the season, at the end of the year. Those are the standings from this weekend of the MPL. Top 4 performing players in the MPL are gonna go straight to 2021-2022 MPL. Middle people are gonna play in the Gauntlet, Gauntlet playoffs which allowed people to stay in the MPL or 
or not, like so they get it next a chance. And the bottom eight ones, including uh, yours truly, get punished to the rivals league for that year. This will play then. Hoping that they won't be playing an auction in next gen, just like we are playing about. You can pull some cool tactics in the league, what do you mean? So I have the... If it was tomorrow, then I would become a rival Twitch chat. I mean, there are 7 weeks of MPL left, there are 5 weeks of MPL left, I'm pretty sure. What I don't understand is why they insist on adding extra stakes to each split. What do you mean? The money prices for the splits, which are pretty like pretty flat and minor compared to like everything else, have been added in response to what many viewers were expressing that it's more enticing to watch a tournament where people play for something more tangible. Points can be like pretty intangible for people, while money is pretty tangible. The set championship awards points as well, right? Yeah, but minor amounts compared. I'm pretty sure I would need to really check exactly how many, but it's like relatively minor compared to the league play. Why is Shoputa dot Y banned from the chat? I don't know that person. They're probably banned for a reason. Maybe with, with no reason. I guess I tapped myself out of path. So they're cutting 20 or 24, right? Well, not necessarily because some of them can, can, can make it back in the gauntlets. What happened with Blue White Yorion? Which is a bad meta call or a poop deck? A bad meta call. I was behind everybody else on technology. Doesn't the first last of each split get buys dropped from something? No. That was through last year, but that was changed to. Thankfully, I have many copies of cards in my cyber that Reg can't beat. Four fours and also Ashok the Ashok. Do I want to cut Path? Probably. I don't think I want to cut any of the time walks. Maybe I want to cut Chase. I think Paths are worse than that. Like not having any removals when I play the kind of rough. Spiral speed up by itself a bit dirty. Spiral is the best card here, I think. Because I have a win con in the matchup, it's to get the time walk loops going. This is too poor, I think. Here, this is final, it has the powerful Ashok, so we can't lose. Alright, they might reunion me for a lot, but I need my third land for Ashox. They will actually pretty likely reunion me, but maybe they're gonna roll bad, maybe not many amalgams. Maybe they will. Hey, <laughs> they actually did hit two amalgams. Yes, like I'm playing Duro Dex, I could have milled, milled myself, but milling Dredge does have a sensible upside. Have you ever played Modern Dredge yourself? I played it a little at times. Weird, why did they kill the Ashok? But yeah, I guess if I melt myself, I would have had Uro cards now. Probably just better. No!
Polar Beta had a birthday yesterday. He turned 42. Any chance we can get a happy day of birth from you? Happy 42nd birthday. Internet stranger. The gas a flashback spell, where does it go? Wherever my opponent chooses. Bottom, top or bottom. Is it exiled on gas? I don't think so. Maybe it gets exiled actually. I guess when you remind that spell it gets exiled too, so that is indeed how it works. Thank you for the gift that serves William Porson. I summon Bloodgast straight from my graveyard upon the battlefield. Okay, I congratulate you on deploying your Bloodgast. Right afterwards I will etherly cast your uh, Conflagrate. And win. By ultimating Ren and Six. <sighs> they want any puff on the draw? No. Puff is bad. Also, because it doesn't pitch to Force of Negation. And I need to pitch cards to pitch to Force. Also, I think Omnath could be, could be good in the matchup. I guess you don't need too much graveyard hate. The best graveyard hate against Dredge is Force of Negation, anyways. Absolutely keeping this hand. And move to five. Prepare your Shriek Horns. Pitch Ura. I don't think I need two to mana interactions. I guess if I miss if I miss a land I might. Ah, I guess we don't have green, okay. Probably fine to pitch Uro, but... Yeah, I guess it's really what's good to pitch Uro. I spent my free cast. Free cards, casting a reunion. No, just Lomich, okay. Lomich is much better for me. I think it was sensible to keep this in hand. They just play top line because most likely they're gonna... Well, they're not gonna draw any new enabler. Yeah, I think I just messed up, actually. I should have. Alright. Unpunished. Boris! I used to listen to this album a lot. This, this is the exact one. That was some amount of years ago. And fetch under green. Mail first in case second Ura. I don't want to mail. I check it's on four, I don't want to mine it. Pretty weird to leak that. Maybe I should have milled first with Ashok. I think, no, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna use Ashok because Ashok is gonna die. So I could have leaked because I was using Ashok anyways. Because I'm not saving it from the imp. Oh, that was lucky. Yeah, I didn't put it on top, right? I just drew it, I just stopped that. XD. Needs critic for infinite. Well, 
virtually infinite with Ren ultimating you at some point get to not need any more turns. I mean Ren ultimating on 8 is it's just infinite. Yeah, this is a pretty fun deck. It's enjoyable, enjoyable to cast those time warps. And like, it actually seems better than I thought it would have. There's one change that I would make to stack immediately. Cut the Nexus of Fate from the Cryptic Command. Not sure about Mana League. Probably would rather play the 4th path than a Mana League. So, I'll change those things. And then like it's gonna play a little bit more like a because it plays more like a combo deck but it has a huge portion of the control cards from the control deck spiral is good here because ramping is good for the time warp to be able to go around time warp in one turn cryptic is fine for tapping and buying time too minus one leak plus one tafari could do that but then the deck is pretty expensive, especially since Ren 6 is not a meaningful two turn, not a meaningful turn to play, oftentimes. Watch the combo, you cast Time Warp, play Planeswalker on the battlefield, and then using Mystic Sanctuary, you replay Time Warp. If you are Planeswalker is Ren, then you get to like search for the Time Warp. The Sanctuary put a Time Warp onto, on top, do it again, plus again, eventually take up to 7. Ultimate win. 